track motorcyclists from six countries parade before the start of the Ulster Grand Prix. It's a really international meeting, particularly as German machines are back for the first time since the war. They're using a new course this year. The Dundrod circuit replaces the old claddy one. Now it's time for the start of the two big events, the 250cc and the 350cc classes. That's the 350 boys away. Behind them, the 250 riders wait their turn. And there go the 250s. Cochrane Town Bend is just one of the tricky twists in the course. The Dundrod circuit of nearly seven and a half miles is believed to be a lot safer for the riders than the one at Claddy. It's a good dry road too, so fast times are expected. Already, Reg Armstrong on a German NSU is way out in front of the rest of his 250cc rivals. But it's still anybody's race in the 350 class. Edward Hassan brings his Velocet into the pits for a fill-up. They've still a long way to go. Otto Dyker on another NSU piles on the speed, but here comes the winner of the 350 class, it's Ken Mudford, riding as a substitute in the Norton team. McIntyre and Coleman, both on AJSs, are second and third. Now the 250 winner, Reg Armstrong. The 23-year-old Irishman receives the laurels of victory. Reg Armstrong is joined in his triumph by Ken Mudford, Ulster's Grand Prix champions.